Hi folks, in this video we're going to do another barrel pinning install uh, because the feeds and speeds in the previous video I did were a bit too aggressive and I ended up uh, constantly breaking drills. So uh, first of all you can see um, how I can adjust that fixture arm outwards to accommodate a mid-length barrel, which this is a mid-length barrel. I get everything set up in there just same as, same as before. Uh, except now I actually use a standoff underneath the barrel over on the right side to prevent it from flexing downwards. Once the uh, barrel is indexed, I tighten the bolt to secure the war block uh, flight deck against the fixed vice jaw. Then I just ensure that everything is aligned in the V blocks and then I uh, tighten that bolt down. And I'm adjusting the uh, pitch and the z-axis there to get it straight. I'm using just little bits of cardboard just so uh, the nitrided barrels don't rub the stainless steel socket head cap screws off and leave marks. So here's a standoff I'm using uh, just to prevent that barrel from flexing downwards. Then I zero in the same way as before. The X will be uh, the front of the gas block there, the buttress. The Y will be the top of the flight deck, which is also the fixed vice jaw. And then the Z is just the top of the flat. Spot drilling is the same as before, except uh, I don't remember if I did it before, but I put a one second dwell at the bottom just to make sure that that uh, spot is nice and concentric. I uh, significantly shortened the tool extension length just to help with uh, rigidity and run out. This particular barrel is 4150 chrome moly vanadium, uh, so it's it's quite hard. It's also nitrided, so when you're drilling down, um, you drill you're constantly drilling through a nitrided surface because you're drilling right on the edge of that barrel. I dialed the uh, RPM all the way down to 290 and the feed all the way down to half an inch a minute. Um, I played around with uh, other parameters, but this seemed to be the most foolproof. So you have to keep um, applying oil to the drill, and you got to keep some air on there, which helps blast the chips out, and it also helps force the oil that you're applying to the uh, sort of the shank of the drill. It forces it down into the hole. This is also a 50,000th peck because I was getting a lot of problems with um, those really hard chips packing in the drill and then it would just snap that little drill. So 50,000th peck seems to be about perfect.
I found a little bit of a tolerance issue with the location of the um, gas port on the war block. Uh, I haven't had any customer complaints about it at all, but it's just something that I should point out to users who decide to um, install these themselves. I uh, recommend against using a handguard cap because that um, the thickness of the handguard cap uh, it, it introduces the possibility of occluding the gas port of the barrel. Um, this will be fixed in all subsequent warp box, but um, for now I would just recommend against using a handguard cap and against uh, using handguard cap spacing. So butt the rear portion of the warp block all the way up against that barrel shoulder and you'll be just fine. You're also going to want to use a coated carbide drill. I've tried it with a cobalt drill and it just destroys the cutting edge of the drill, that nitrided surface so hard. Um, so definitely stick with a, a carbide drill and preferably a coated carbide drill. Now for the reaming portion, um, I kept the fees and speeds the same as the drilling. I, I know with reamers they like a heavy chip load, but in this case, um, it's really going to mess up your reamer trying to go faster. Um, you got to keep a lot of oil on there and blow the oil down there with air, uh, otherwise it starts to kind of screech but I've had pretty good luck with this. I also increased, um, before I was using no peck. On this one I'm using a 3 8 peck depth to just help clear some of the chips out of the flutes. And I'm going down to a depth of 1.5 inches instead of 1.4 um, and that'll just save me some time manually uh, reaming these in to finish. I, in fact, I might experiment with going further in the future, but I definitely don't want to overshoot it.
you could kind of hear it start to screech right there, indicating it needs more oil. Okay, once that's done, uh, then it's time to uh, manually ream one of these to depth. And I keep everything lined up here to do that because when I take it off, I want to drive a pin in there and make sure it's not going to shift. So I got one in, I took it off, and now I'm doing the other one just on the bench. It's a lot easier to do it on the bench. I also um, took it off and removed the handguard cap because uh, this customer did not want a handguard cap, but I wanted the handguard cap spacing in case they ever want to um, put one on. But like I said, on these, I'm recommending against the handguard cap spacing until I, uh, on the next run, I'll get that gas port moved back just a little bit. Um, even with the handguard cap spacing on these, it probably won't be an issue, but it's just a little too close for comfort, and it's something that I just wanted to uh, make customers aware of. If uh, you are a customer that has one with the handguard cap spacing and you experience any kind of uh, reliability problems, undergassing or whatever, please uh, contact me immediately and I'll get that straightened out for you. So uh, the hand reaming is basically just back and forth until you get uh, the pin seated just right. You can see where it's very close there, but it could stand to go a little bit further in. Couple of good blows with a heavy hammer. And the proper uh, depth is when uh, the pin is protruding from both sides equally. And you can see I pretty much got it there. So that's what a proper pinning job will look like. Now as far as the location of the pin holes, um, they should be drilled right on the edge of the barrel to where uh, the cutouts in the barrel look like this. They're going to be half circles. Uh, you don't want them to go in further. It's probably not a big deal if they don't go in as far, but you definitely don't want them to go in further. Uh, th the best case scenario is right on the edge. So when you drive those pins in, they'll 
you know, force the mating surfaces of the gas port together. So you want half the pin in the barrel and half the pin out. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.